guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, we are going to be doing some more winter decorating and we're going to be tackling my living room. So it's always like a weird transition after Christmas when everything is so full, so maximal, and then there's less trees and there's less stuff. And how do you keep the cozy happening? And so that is what this video today is, is how I'm keeping our living room cozy. I am keeping some greenery around. My husband and I love our garlands and such. And so that's just something we maintain for a few weeks after Christmas. So if you're looking for some more winter decorating inspiration, you are in the right place. So let's get to it. So to get started, I'm going to be using my favorite faux fur throw blanket from Home Goods. It just adds in such a beautiful color and texture and is super cozy, especially in these colder winter months. This fawn print pillow was a DIY I recently did. And then these two-sided throw pillows of the green are actually from Target last year. I love it because you can switch it up. And even though that they're the same, just switching one side versus the other creates a really nice tone. Now for the smaller love seat, I'm adding this green boucle throw blanket that I got on clearance last year. Another one of the two-tone green pillows and then a couple of my favorite neutrals and another one of the fawn print DIYs and figured we might as well throw in a snowflake. absolute favorites from Pottery Barn. It's the beach comber or something like that. I'll have it linked below. It's super big and super sturdy. And I just keep my laptop and our foam roller in here. So it's just nice and handy. I also have some chargers and stuff if people need it. But I like to have something functional that also looks pretty. And so I just take a pillow and tuck it in to just block everything. So you have no idea unless you're actually up on top of it what's in there. Now I'm gonna add this vase. This is one of my 90% off finds from Target. And we're gonna add in some of my favorite Hobby Lobby stems. I use these for Christmas. They're not gonna have them now because Hobby Lobby went 90% off. But if you guys did end up getting some, this is a great way to use it for winter decorating as well. Now to this end table, this is from Target. A couple of years ago, I want to say two fall seasons ago now, but I love to use it with greenery stems in it because it just provides such nice contrast to everything else that's going on rather than like I trust me, I'm all about the neutrals, but sometimes you need to add some contrast to help balance out a space rather than it being all cream and white and beige. This is a nice addition to add. And then I'm gonna add in that gold tray and that oak and lavender candle. So the first thing I'm gonna add is this Studio McGee tray. This was from last spring. I love it. It's one of those staple pieces I use. And then our Anthropology Medium House Candle. And then because it's winter, it's only appropriate to add in some of these really cute flock trees. I got these from House and Home last year, but I believe Amazon might have them. I'll link them below just in case. And then the go-to anthropology candle. It smells so good. This is their classic scent. It's a Capri Blue Volcano. And this is the mini size. And then because I like to keep my coffee table styling really simple, this is the last piece I'm going to add. It is that gold bowl from Target. I have some pine cones, some of those mini juniper berry picks from Amazon, and then some bells. Bells are a seasonally appropriate item to put out all year round, and it just adds an extra touch. But I have probably eight of these little picks in the bowl just because I really, I didn't want to put a floral arrangement so I wanted this to be really full. 
So now I'm going to add these hearth and hand trees I got a few years ago, as well as these iron candle holders from Hobby Lobby. Amazon sells the same ones, so I will have those linked below in case you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you. Now I did opt to keep these trees out. I still like to have that cozy winter feeling and I love to keep my garland out. I just switched the ribbon for this chiffon and took out the iced picks to just simplify it and kept out my favorite iced Norfolk wreath. I love using this one in the winter. It is so beautiful. I got this at Kirkland's. And everything is just nice and simple in comparison to Christmas. It's honestly so weird having a massive gap here. So when we spring decorate, we'll bring down one of the olive trees. But I love how it all came together. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. If this was your first time here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. If you missed my last video, we did some winter entryway styling ideas. So if you're looking for some more inspiration, I will have that video linked down below for you. I've still got a few more winter decorating idea videos coming your way. And then we're gonna get into some more of like the general stuff. I've had a few, um, video requests that I will be making sure happen. So definitely hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new uploads. As always, thank you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.